Okay. Hi. Great. Um, good morning, everybody. Uh, my name is Kobe Simana, and I'm the CEO of IBC Research Center. Uh, first of all, I want to thank uh, uh, Ziv, uh, Rafi, and Ori from Landmark for the opportunity to be here with you today. Uh, I'm very much excited uh, of uh, opening this speech, and uh, the guys at Landmark asked me to give you a short overview about what's going on in Israel in 2016 and our outlook for 2017. I'll try not to burden you with too much details and numbers about uh, uh, the Israeli high-tech and VC industry, trying to uh, pinpoint several trends that we uh, recognize within the market and uh, the opportunities that we see in 2017 and going forward ahead. Uh, for those of you who aren't familiar with IVC, we're a private uh, Israeli research firm providing info and research about uh, uh, tech companies. Uh, today, uh, um, uh, we're covering the entire ecosystems from startups to mature companies, from VC investors, both domestics and foreign. The first point I would like to stress is that uh, uh, the industry in Israel is constantly growing. Um, in the past 10 years, uh, the industry grown from a little, uh, a little uh, less than uh, 4,000 active companies in Israel. Today, we've got around 8,000 companies in Israel. Uh, on average, on every company shutting down, two new startups are born in Israel. And that's, uh, uh, that's regardless of economic and macro trends that we uh, see in the Israeli industry. Okay. Uh, so I'm not sure all of us uh, uh, realize that. And uh, one more point uh, I would like to stress is that today in Israel, we've got more than 20,000 entrepreneurs engaging in those kind of uh, uh, startups. And 22% uh, um, um, of those entrepreneurs are what we call serial entrepreneurs, guys who founded more than uh, two companies. And we've got a record holder who founded more than 30 companies so far. By the way, the name is Yossi Gross. The second tech, uh, tech point I would like you to all to make is that uh, uh, funding in Israel is something that is very rapidly growing as well. Uh, today, uh, we've got more than 50% of companies that manage to raise external funding throughout the years. But the other 50%, roughly 3,400 companies, are bootstrapped. Okay, and I mean bootstrap without, you know, no funding whatsoever until now. Uh, and uh, the, the second point uh, is, is that uh, uh, those kind of companies are, uh, um, you know, it's a bit of a mix, their funding so far. Uh, most of the capital in 2015 and 2016 came from large deals in Israel. Large by Israeli size is rounds that that have more than $20 million in each round, okay? So what does that mean to you guys? It means that those uh, uh, late stage growth rounds in Israel are very uh, much uh, competitive these days as both local and foreign growth stage uh, VCs are trying to get into those uh, uh, specific uh, uh, great companies. Aside from growth uh, stage rounds, if we're talking about uh, the other end, the early stage rounds in Israel, we see that as an opportunity. We see that as an opportunity because those, uh, those uh, early stage rounds, seed and pre-seed, are very scarce today in Israel. Um, we don't see any funding. We see a lot of companies trying to raise those funds, and we see a lot of opportunities for investors who are willing to take that kind of risk. Uh, if you're sitting on the fence and would li wouldn't like to go for a seed stage deal, uh, you may be waiting a bit too long. Uh, if you're waiting for an A round. A round in Israel in 2016 was the latest hit. More than 200 A rounds were done in Israel in 2016 with, uh, with the participation of uh, more than 100 different VC investors, okay? So what that, that means for you guys, it means that in an A round, the valuation of companies is already uh, uh, growing rapidly, okay? So if you want to get into those great companies, perhaps you should take a bit more risk and go for an early stage company, okay? If we're talking about uh, uh, the number of deals, we can see that in the slide over here. So we can see the growth stage and we can see the early stage picking up to those exits. Uh, in Israel, exits are sort of a mix, okay? We've got, on, on the one hand, we see a lot of, uh, um, let's say, uh, um, 
home run exits such as Platica, which was sold last year for $4.4 billion on one hand. And on the other hand, we see the number of exits above $100 million that are uh, decreasing, okay? So what does that does tell you guys? It, uh, it's sort of a mix, okay? On the one hand, we see investors and we see entrepreneurs show very much patience, trying to maximize the value of their assets and uh, not uh, accepting the first offer they get on the table. On the other hand, we know that liquidity and ROI are very important parts of the VC model or any investment model for that matter. So we would like to see more of those exits uh, um, coming into play within 2017. We can't complain about the beginning of 2017. It started with the bank, with the Mobileye and uh, Intel deal, a $15 billion deal that was done. And we hope and pray that this deal will conclude by the end of this year. Uh, um, I think this deal is very important to the Israeli ecosystem, and I think it will have a profound uh, uh, impact on the industry as a whole. Uh, I'm sure that uh, if you uh, ask Professor Shashua in his session tomorrow to elaborate on it and uh, nag even a bit, I'm sure he will comply with it. So we believe that those kind of exits are very crucial, and uh, we think that 2017, even without the mobile ideal, will conclude in the figures for 2014, 2015. As we saw in the first quarter of 2017 already, deals, 26, 26 deals that were made in a total sum of $1 billion. Out of, of, the, out of those these deals, uh, four, four deals were uh, above $100 million each. Okay, so we're, we're, we're getting there. So to conclude, and just uh, to give you an overview of what's going on in Israel in 2017, let me whip up my crystal ball and sum up the prediction. We believe that the number of companies in Israel will continue to rise. We believe that by the end of, this year, by the, end of the next year, we'll have more than 8,500 companies active in Israel. Again, the relationship between those who uh, manage to raise funds and the bootstrap companies will be more, more of the same. Around 50% will manage to raise external funding. Uh, uh, but we believe 700 deals will, will be concluded by this year as well. Um, we believe the total number of funding in Israel in 2017 will top 2016. We will see around $5 billion investment in Israeli tech startups in 2017. Okay? And we believe those great rounds, great growth rounds, will continue in 2017 as well. But we will see the opportunity in the early stage. Again, early stage companies will be the, the most competitive uh, 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 environment in Israel in 2017. If we're talking about exits, everybody in 2017 we will be talking about the Mobileye Intel deals. But aside from the Mobileye and Intel deals, we will see 100 exits being done in Israel in 2017. And we believe that uh, uh, most of them will come from the 100 to $500 million uh, valuation. So without, uh, with that, I would like to conclude and what, would like to thank everybody for the time and patience. I will be here outside if you want to ask more questions about IVC or ask more questions about Israel. And we welcome uh, this conference and we believe it's a great opportunity for all of us to uh, uh, connect. Thank you very much.